What's up, guys? Sam Sulik is uh, apparently still alive. <laughs> so uh, maybe this time around, he'll give us some more insight to his Krispy Kreme diet. And the only reason I'm doing this, guys, is because this got almost 1 million views in less than a week. I I've never really seen a video uh, related to bodybuilding or fitness or day of eating and stuff get that many views in a really long time. So... Perfect. There they are. The Krispy so, Kremes. A little bit late to the game. But, I mean, I did promise that I'd do a full day of eating before the bulk ended. And I, I already did one. So, it's a bright and early... Uh, well, the clocks on the oven are still wrong. I haven't reset them. But it's bright and early noon on a Sunday. So, breakfast is going to be... The remainder of this gallon of whole milk I weighed it out so I've, I've got it on the food scale right now so I weighed it out when it was before I started drinking it 960 grams so once I actually finish it I'll bro he's weighing conventional grocery store milk like macronutrients bro macronutrients take off the weight of the bottle itself find out how much milk that was and then you know, do some quick math. And then I've got a uh, one of the six-pack varieties of a uh, Krispy Kreme. So a normal one, fucking jelly-filled. You get the idea. So this will be... I'm not even sure how many fucking grams of carbs. At least 120 or so. All, all the information's on the back. So this is the breakfast, meal number one. I, uh, I'll, I'll add up all the macros. I'll I'm having a hard time thinking of how you can choose worse foods. I guess like low fat or skim milk might be worse, but you know, you have the pasteurized, homogenized, vitamin fortified, poisonous whole milk and plastic. And you have the also fortified, the white flour with vitamins and iron filings and crap, Krispy Kreme donuts that are made with vegetable seed oils and chemical flavorings and additives. This is so, so horrible for you. If he just bought organic milk from the grocery store and went to a local bakery and got regular donuts, like just made with butter and flour, it would be so much infinitely healthier. You know, we're not even talking about like optimal raw milk with homemade stuff, but this is such a far cry from being healthy that any step in the right direction is a major improvement i'll keep a count either up here or up here somewhere so this is how much protein it was this is how many carbs and this is how many fats i don't think i'm going to do that extra animation sound every time but it's kind of funny for the first one but once i finish this i'm going to take a little pure calf hostile caffeine capsule because before i do cardio and like even though this is noon i am this is still when i'm waking up like this is morning for me i always like doing caffeine like this would be the equivalent of you know your morning coffee and it's definitely going to make the cardio easy for you and just wake you up but you know i'll sit here for a couple more minutes get these in do the cardio and then come back for whatever meal number <laughs> bro just eating crispy cream donuts then going to do cardio is unbelievable or two ends up being I was at the gym for fucking ever. You know, all I do is my 30 minutes of cardio, but <laughs> classes haven't started yet. I'm not doing anything else. So that was just my fucking social hour. So I think I got there, I don't even know, maybe one or so. 30 minutes of cardio, but then fucking like two hours of chatting. So that's a pretty long time to go without eating if you want to eat like a fuck ton of food at once. So instead of just, you know, eating nothing and waiting waiting till I got back, I went up to the little... uh like snack bar or whatever. And I got like three little things of minute made lemonade. So 70 grams of carbs each. I was kind of surprised. So that's another 210 carbs. Lemonade is not actually like super horrible for you. It's basically just, you know, lemon juice and sugar. The problem is, you know, what type of water was used to make it? And also, is it organic? So it could be worse. Carbs. 
at, plugged into the uh, the stupid simple macro tracker. So I think I'll probably eat one more time before the lift. I'll kind of want all this to settle down, but I cooked up half a, uh, a half pound of flank steak. When I, when I bought, so I've been doing ribeyes. When I bought this one, I meant to text my dad to ask him. He does some kind of fucking Mediterranean, uh, what's the fucking word I'm even thinking of? Marinade, yeah, but my fucking phone was dead when I was in the grocery store, so I, I don't have any fucking ingredients. So salt and pepper, high heat, olive oil, flipped over probably every minute or two until it feels right. It's perfect. So, I mean, if I cut into this fucker and it's like blood right on the inside, I'll just throw it back on. And then two packs of uh, not just the cheap-ass, like, Maruchan ramen. Right? This is like the, um, it's called Nissan Rao. And it's kind of fucked because it's like three bucks each compared to like 25 cents for the Maruchan ramen. But... You know, as opposed to just the protein, I want to get some fucking carbs in with my meals as well. So this will be about, probably about 50. I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up when I plug it in later. And then this is about 140-ish grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat. So I'll just fucking sit here for another 20 minutes. Watch. I mean, at least he's having some red meat, you know, for some decent nutrition. But, I mean, ramen as a carb source, it's an egg noodle. You know, a lot of people can't tolerate eggs. And especially if it's not organic, the type of wheat, generally not good. Now, we do have the organic soba noodles on Frankie's Free Range Foods. And you can also get, like, high-quality organic noodles, but that's obviously not what he's doing here. Uh, you know, watch some TikToks, and then we can skip to what I'm going to eat, probably. That's, like, his counter so far, which seems kind of insane. But I guess... Most of that was from the Krispy Kreme donuts and the milk. Pre-workout. Or, or what? Do you uh, do you want to sit here and watch me eat it? Maybe I'll, yeah, maybe I'll, uh, I'll get a little bit of a mid-meal clips for you. With the protein, I mean, I'm not particularly concerned. Oh, yeah, we're good. With timing right now. Obviously, you want to hit your fucking gram per pound of body weight. But it doesn't really matter. Oh, it's kind of a bloody spot. But and the main thing we touched on last time was, you know, when you eat these low quality crappy foods, it destroys your body's hormone synthesis. But since he's taking synthetic drugs, testosterone, steroids, it kind of masks that. So normal guy following this diet without the drugs is not going to look half as good as him. He's going to be a fat guy in the gym doesn't really matter when you eat it you're not going to feel full from eating fucking steak or protein for me the aspect of dieting that actually affects how i feel in the gym which you know to an extent is a pretty big fucking aspect of eating right if you're lifting then you're you know apart from just staying alive I think that's a prerequisite for all of us, but you're eating for the results that the type of food and the amount of food that you're eating is going to give you. Now, pre-workout, and I'm talking like hours beforehand, if you eat like, you could eat 500 grams of carbs 30 minutes before you lift, they're not really going to do anything for you. If anything, you're probably just going to fucking feel sick. But at least, well, I'd say over the course of the day before my lift, you know, I think I'll probably lift in, I don't know, probably eight or something. So I've got some time. I want to get in, in a bulking context, at least half of the carbs that I'm going to eat throughout the whole day. I really don't want to listen to this guy spout nonsense. Yeah. All right, so we're just skipping through about like <laughs> it's half an hour of workout. And then he has a, uh, a carbohydrate dextro shake in the car. So, I mean, <laughs> this guy did nothing all day besides eat some donuts, do some cardio, eat some steak and ramen. Then he drove to the gym again. So now he's driving back from the gym. Yeah, so literally like 45 minutes of the video. Like the first two minutes is Krispy Kreme. The next three minutes is steak and ramen. And then it's like 45 minutes of him driving, going to the gym, working out and driving back. So I don't know, maybe he said... He ate something in the gym again that we don't see. 
Let's let's jump to the fucking next meal. So back from the gym, showered, clean. It is it's irresponsibly late because I have to wake up for an eight thirty, and do oh, well, dude, I, I might even just do the cardio afterwards, just so I can get some extra sleep. But I, I was kind of slacking on the protein today. I was gonna eat, so I got a ribeye too, when I went to Kroger. But I got that before I left. So I moved into school, and then I went back home for a couple of days. Classes haven't started yet, but it's fucking. It's brown, so I'm fucked. So, a big protein shake for the end of the night. So, 75 grams of the, uh, just the hostile protein powder. Yeah, most grocery store meat goes bad very, very quickly in the fridge. Uh, when it's grass-fed or higher quality, usually it, it stays fresher a bit longer. But it all really depends on how long it's been sitting. problem with the grocery store is, you know, by the time the grocery store even gets the meat, it's already three or four weeks old, so... You know, Frankie's Strange Meat Online, we have much, much, much fresher meat. And then I got a fucking blueberry bagel with a shit ton of cream cheese on it. So 75 grams of protein-ish, a little bit of carbs and fats. 50 grams of carbs and like, I think it's pushing like 40 grams of fat in the, uh, in the cream cheese. This ended up being like a go-to breakfast for me back when I was in high school. I wasn't really like bulking. I was kind of just main gaining, but... That was a pretty solid dent in my calories for the day. One in the morning, I'd just do plain bagel, ton of cream cheese, and like, I couldn't even tell you how many little slices of salami. But that, I mean, dude, that one bagel could end up being like... He's got like some, I think it's Japanese lettering on his hat, and then when he was in the car, he had um, this like little Japanese anime ornament here of like this hentai girl's butt. <laughs> I mean, dude, that one Some bagel could stuff. end up being like, well, 50 grams of protein. No, no, 50 grams of carbs, so 200. I, I, you could do, if you're really good about it, or if you make a thick one, you can have a fucking 700 calorie bagel right there. And it, like, it's fucking tiny. I don't know about salami with the fucking blueberry. That might be a little funky. And then at night, that's when I'll take my vitamins. Uh, I, I find it kind of weird. I, I get a lot of comments that are like, should I take my vitamins in the morning or when's the best time? I don't, I can't tell you. If, even if there is a best time. In regards to supplement timing, you always want to have them as early in the day as possible, preferably with breakfast and maybe with lunch to kind of gauge how your body responds and processes them. You're taking multivitamins and all that stuff before bed. If you can still sleep, you're lucky you're still healthy. Yeah. You know? I don't I just fucking take it at night. So clearly you've seen the whole day's diet was uh Okay, so he doesn't really explain what he's taking, but you know, we've actually done videos on why multivitamins are bad for you and dangerous, why common stuff like fish oil is bad for you and dangerous. I would bet every capsule in that glass is if anything harming his health. You'd be one hundred percent healthier with not taking any of that stuff. Not conventional in a fucking bodybuilding sense, you know, it wasn't like three meals of fucking chicken and rice pre-workout. But, you know, in my mind, I'm trying to hit my fucking macros. When, however the fuck you do it is, however the fuck you do it that works for you, fuck man, it's perfect. But when I start dieting down... Definitely not perfect. So... The problem between having low quality foods versus high quality foods is several things. One, when it's not organic, you know, there's a lot of chemicals, pollutants, pesticides, and negative stuff in the food. That stuff is going to deplete your body's own nutrient stores. And also the toxins can really inhibit your liver function. You know, those toxins will be stored in all the tissue in your body for long periods of time, just overall inhibiting everything, whether it's your sleep, your physical energy, da, da, da. You also have the refined aspect, you know, if it's white flour, if it's processed, if it's ramen, a lot of the natural vitamins and minerals from the food are removed. So there's a nutrient degradation and you're not really replacing it. On top of that, the foods in general are usually not as nutritious as their high quality counterparts because of how they're growing the soil and all that stuff. So you're getting a lot of toxins. 
you're not getting enough nutrients, you're causing a lot of inflammation in your body, and also very important, usually the fatty acid ratios, you know, very high in omega-6, very inflammatory, horrible, horrible for you. I would never eat this fucking bagel. I would never eat this. This bagel right here is sitting in front of me. It's fucking... Let me, let me do the math again. It's like it's five, six hundred calories. <laughs> if I'm if I've only got twenty five hundred calories throughout the day, I'm not going to eat anything this calorie dense. You know, I'm going to be eating like, you know, turkey sandwiches with just mustard, some lettuce, and then keto bread, so it's low carb. Or I'm going to be doing like a bunch of fucking ground beef with zero sugar, sweet baby rays. That's a, oh my god. You know it's perfect. I'll do fucking. Well, I'll just show you when I diet, but it ends up being like pound of ground beef, like 95% lean, you know, cook it up, pour off the fat, whatever, and then mix that up with the zero calorie baby rays with fat-free sh sh fat shredded cheese. Dude, that stuff is fucking, the macros are bananas with the shredded cheese. Cause it These guys are obsessed with hitting their macros, but once you go high quality on everything, it drastically improves the efficiency of the food. I would say probably twofold. So if you're eating 5,000 calories of this bull crap, you'll feel better eating 2,500 to 3,000 calories of actual true high quality food. It's going to digest more efficiently. You're going to utilize more of the nutrients. Your body's going to excrete less waste. It's just like nine grams of protein. Honestly, it's probably not like a complete protein. So... When I plug into the fucking macro tracker, if I got like 20 grams of the fat-free cheese, which I don't even know, it's probably got all sorts of weird shit in it, but it tastes sick and, you know, zero fat. But we'll, we'll get into that in another day. So vitamins, I just take a night and get a whole little mix. Honestly, all you need is a fucking multivitamin. That should pretty much... A lot of these low-calorie foods and chemicals and keto breads and all that stuff, the way they actually make you lose weight is by poisoning your liver with all the chemicals in the stuff and by being so full of crap that you can't even digest the food. It's very, very bad. Short term, you might lose weight. Long term, it's a recipe for disaster. Much hit everything. Any RuneScape uh, players? I've got some extra recipe calcium for disaster. and magnesium and zinc in here. I've also got the, uh, the Accutane taken with you know, fats. That's good for you if you're doing that. I He's taking Accutane. Uh... R.I.P. Sam Sulek, maybe. I took Accutane twice. Completely destroyed my health. That's why I originally had to go on the carnivore diet. Because I couldn't eat anything else. And now I'm still recovering from it. But, uh, you know, the reason he needs to take it is because he's eating all this crappy food. If I had known what I know now 10 years ago, if I was just able to follow my current diet in the past... I would have been able to, you know, fix my health by the time I was like 25 and be perfectly healthy. Now I'm 30 years old and it's going to take me till I'm, you know, 35 to, to really start feeling better. So, you know, it, at least I'm at the point where I know that high food quality, balance of meat and grains and probiotics is the fix. But, you know, this guy has a, a long road to recovery if he keeps doing what he's doing. I tell you what, if you go back fucking in the early videos, like days... You know, one, honestly, probably like one through a hundred. This wasn't really a bulk transformation. This was a skin transformation. I, uh, don't worry, I'm getting my blood tested. I, uh, you know, Accutane has the potential to fuck you up. So that's definitely under dermatologist supervision. Yeah, I was under, uh. I was under dermatologist supervision too. It didn't turn out so well. I couldn't imagine just doing one at once anymore. You know, I'm not a complete freak. <laughs> I remember seeing this clip of like Juji Mufu doing handfuls of them. Yeah, it's just kind of for fun. But I mean, if you can't handle pills, I guess I'm sure some of you are probably like that. Uh, I think you guys are probably grown up so you can swallow a pill. Just get a fucking gummy vitamin. End of the day, you get a sweet little treat before you go to bed, and that's the end of it. So. I'm going to sit here, eat the bagel, drink the shake, take my fucking creatine. I do that at night too, and then I'm going to bed. We're done. So I'm probably not going to do that. I'm surprised that's so many calories. 
I guess a lot of the stuff he ate was just really, really dense. And many of these, honestly, I mean, it's the same shit every day. You know, maybe I'll do one. Uh, well, at this rate, it's going to be one every fucking year. But I'll definitely have to do one just to show the fucking contrast between the bulk diet and like the actual, you know, fat loss calorie deficit diet. Because, I mean, I, I really can't stress enough how different the fucking food looks. So, solid back pump. Did my cardio this morning. I know you probably didn't do it. Uh, for me, when I'm extra busy, like, you know, I'm going to have an 8.30 tomorrow. Maybe I don't want to fucking ride my bike to the gym. Because, I mean, for me, the rec center is like two blocks away. But, yeah, maybe I don't want to fucking go there and then walk in and scan my card. Walk up. I can just fucking jump on the seated bike and I get at home. It's not as fun, though. I kind of like the ambiance of the gym. It's a... Uh, and I, I think I just probably like being in the gym in general. But that's it. Fucking see you next time, goddammit. So, uh, these microphones, the Wi-Fi stuff, I mean, it's probably a drop in the bucket with all the other radiation he's probably surrounded by. Let's see what everyone has to say. This man single-handedly saved not only the fitness industry, but long-form YouTube. Really? <laughs> Is he paying for these comments? I don't know. These comments are smelling fishy. Yeah, like half the comments are people like talking trash word about him saying how bad it is. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Comment section is kind of weird. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I don't know what the deal is. You know, a lot of these online influencers are just kind of pushing products, pushing agendas, trying to get people to do certain things and eat certain foods. But if you guys do want to support... High quality nutritious foods. You guys can go to frank Uh We got a lot of stuff going on this week, guys. New stuff back on Frankie's Free Range Meat. We got the potato chips on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Uh, wi Fi shielding. Everything's in stock, guys. Organ supplements. We actually have like healthy stuff that's not going to destroy your body, like these regular multivitamins. And then on Frankie's Naturals, we have a bunch of new cosmetic products. I have the moisturizing cream on my face right now. This is the the whipped shea butter. So you guys can check all that stuff out, frank com. But as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I hope you guys are enjoying your Labor Day weekend.